Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video I am going to teach you a very good and useful trick on how to write essays, how to sound better when you speak, um, how to do better in presentations. Um, this tip is very useful if you are taking the TOEFL or the IELTS or if you are studying in college, university or high school. Okay, so it's a very, very useful trick. This trick is called well, I'm calling it how to start right. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a great way to start either in your essays or in your speech. Oftentimes, uh, if you're taking the TOEFL or the IELTS, you're going to be asked to give your opinion on something. Okay, in general life, you might have to give your opinion on something. Maybe somebody uh, wants to know what do you prefer? Do you prefer going to a restaurant? Or do you prefer eating at home? What's better? Okay. When you give your opinion, it's a very good idea to start by saying what is good about the opposite opinion. Okay. So example, if I love restaurants, I want to eat at a restaurant. Instead of just saying, I love restaurants, a better way to start this is by saying, the opposite, the good part of the opposite. So how can I do this? Well, I can say something like, although some people love eating at home, I prefer eating at a restaurant. Okay. Another example, imagine um, somebody wants to know if I like cats better or dogs better. What is the better animal? Well, um, maybe if I like dogs better, I would say, Although some people prefer cats, I prefer dogs. Although some people prefer to live in cold countries, I prefer warm countries. So you can use this in essays, in speaking, um, in so many different ways. It's always a good idea to start with the opposite of what you believe, a good point of the opposite, and then to say your opinion, okay? Um, so I want you to try this, okay? I'm going to give you a question and I want you to use this formula. Uh, what do you prefer? Waking up early or waking up late? Okay, so although some people prefer waking up, I prefer waking up. Okay, and here you would say either early or late, okay? So, uh, I've used this word, although. Although is to show this contrast, okay? It's a very, very great word, useful word when you're writing essays or speaking uh, in a formal setting. Something that has the same meaning as although is even though, okay? So very similar, even though, and we can use the same formula, okay? If I ask you, um, would you rather uh, go to a beach or go skiing? You can say, even though some people love going to beaches, I prefer skiing. Even though uh, skiing is a lot of fun, I'd rather go to the beach, okay? So again, you're offering the opposite idea first and then your idea. Great for TOEFL and IELTS speaking. Okay, so let's look at these sentence structures a little bit closer. So I have here my words, although, even though. What follows is a subject. A subject can be words like some people, can be he, she, we, the teacher. Okay, so the subject is pretty much a noun. Although Canada, Okay, although Canada, even though Canada, now you need a verb. Even though Canada, use a verb is. Even though Canada is a good country, okay, if I was writing now, I would put a comma. Even though Canada is a good country, um, Canada has problems. So what I'm trying to get at here is that if you use although, you will have two parts of a sentence. You will have part one before the comma, which has a subject and a verb, 
And then you will have a second part, part two, with a subject and a verb. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Although um, learning English is fun, many students find it difficult. Okay, although some people like learning English, I prefer learning French. Okay, just some examples of uh, these types of ideas. So let's look at a couple more expressions uh, to help you show the opposite view. Okay, so let's look at some more um, words that you can use to show the opposing side, okay? Um, we can use the word despite. Despite is very similar to although and even though. Imagine this. Imagine if I ask you if you would rather live in the city or in the countryside. Would you rather live in a big uh, city or in a quiet town in the countryside? Which would you prefer? So imagine if you prefer the city, okay? You might say something like, despite the advantages of living in the country, comma, I prefer living in the city, okay? Despite the advantages of living in the country, I prefer living in the city. Despite the calm of the country, despite the peace, the peacefulness of the country, the quiet of the country, I prefer the city, okay? Um, so again, this is a great way to start um, either in an essay or when you're giving an answer for TOEFL and IELTS, it's a great way to do this. Um, one thing here, despite is a little bit different than although and even though. The way it is different is despite is followed by a noun. It is not followed by a noun and a verb, only a noun, okay? So we could say despite, despite my money, despite my dog, despite the disadvantage, despite my teacher, despite global warming, okay? So you don't need a verb. You just say despite noun, then you have a comma, and then you can say uh, subject verb, okay? So despite, uh, despite happiness, despite uh, peace, despite the nightlife, I would prefer to live in the country. Um, another way you can show the opposing opinion is with the word nevertheless, okay? Some people like living in the city. Nevertheless, I like living in the countryside. Some people like playing computer games. Nevertheless, I like reading books, okay? Some people love their politicians. Nevertheless, um, I find politicians are not always honest, okay? So again, this is where you're giving the opposite view. Finally, nevertheless has the same meaning as however. Some people like movies. However, I don't. I prefer books, okay? So however, nevertheless, despite, even though, and although are great ways um, to show the opposing viewpoint. Great for TOEFL and IELTS, as well as presentations, and just everyday speaking and essay writing. So to practice these, I invite you to come visit our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can do a quiz uh, to make sure you understand all of these and how they're used, uh, and that way you can improve your essay writing and your speaking. Uh, I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, there you will find more videos on a variety of different topics such as pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, and many more. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.